So today we're going to be reviewing two kids bikes and we're going to be going over a size difference between the two between the Rowley Rowdy 16 inch bike and the Trex 2020 20 inch mountain bike. Now my kid outgrew his uh, Rowley Rowdy. I mean he could still ride it but he was getting a little bigger and needed something with gears so we decided to go ahead and get him a Trex 2020 with a 7 speed shifter that way he had some gears to be easier to keep up on the bike trail. So I'm going to show you a size comparison real quick of him on each bike and show you what they have to offer. Now on the Rowley Rowdy the minimum standover height is 16 inches on this bike and the minimum seat height which it's set to right now is right around 19 and a half inches to 20 inches or so somewhere about around 19 and a half to 20 and a half depending on where you measure on the seat and the maximum seat height on the rally rowdy is about 24 inches on the uh, Trex pre caliper 2020 the standover height is a little bit taller at about 18 and a half inches or so and the minimum seat height on the pre-caliper is 22 inches. And the maximum seat height on the Trex pre-caliper is just a hair over 28 inches. So it's not too far off from the Rally Rowdy, but just a bigger bike overall. And what, one thing that's nice now about the uh, 20 inch here is it actually works with my bike rack, whereas uh, I have a platform rack. If you guys seen some of my other videos, you already know. Um, the 16 inch would not go in the wheel things, the wheel holders for the 16 inch, but it will work with the 20 inch. Now I may have a different bike rack coming that actually has uh, different style wheel holders instead of the big loops for the fat tires. Now the rack that I have coming still is able to accept fat tires, but it also will or should work with a smaller rim diameter than the 20 inch wheels. So if you guys are interested in seeing what that bike rack has to offer and what it looks like, make sure you get guys hit that subscribe button and that bell so you get notified when I get that video posted. Now it is supposed to be capable of still holding a 65 pound bike so it will still be good for e-bikes supposedly. So we're gonna check that out when it gets here. And like I said, go over how it installs, what it looks like and what it has to offer. Now the Rowley Rowdy comes in at just under 16 pounds. And the Trex caliper, pre caliper, comes in at, I'm shaking here trying to hold it, just under 24 pounds, according to my scale. Well, now, this Trex caliper, one thing to keep in mind, it does come in a single speed or the seven speed, so depending on which one you want, make sure uh, you check those out. I'll put links down below in the description of these two bikes if you guys are interested in checking those out. So now with the links I post in the description for these bikes or any of the accessories that you guys have been looking at on my videos, like with my e-bike and stuff, uh, a lot of places have been sold out lately. It's been crazy. Most of the links that I recommend for Amazon have been sold out. I was at Walmart last week. There's not, there's almost not one bike in the aisle of Walmart for sale, hardly any accessories there. It's just been super crazy with all the bike sales that they've had over the past few months. Now, I don't know if this is because everybody is home, or not everybody, but a lot of people have been working from home lately and maybe they wanna get out and get a lot more exercise now. I don't know if that's it or if it's just been that a lot of these uh, factories maybe have been shut down and getting items maybe shipped to Amazon or to the stores has just been limited maybe. I don't know what it is, but it just seems like a lot of things especially the stuff that I recommend has been sold out so now what I recommend if you guys are interested in this stuff and it's not in stock or anything just I would go ahead and put the stuff in a shopping list or in your cart and then just check back daily a lot of times this stuff will come back in stock and then you guys are able to go ahead and make the purchase all right now this bike the whole entire frame is aluminum it's pretty lightweight and it's a really well built bike I mean you're gonna pay a little bit more of a premium price for this kind of bike than if you just went to Walmart Walmart and buy one but the frame's not going to rust or anything because it's all aluminum um, the forks are aluminum I believe uh, yeah they're aluminum and uh, just overall it's been a great bike and uh, they, they hold their value pretty well too um, if you buy this bike as long as you, they take good care of it you shouldn't have a problem getting the money back out of it if you were to sell it now this is my son he's almost 46 inches tall and his inseam is 20 inches and this is him on the Rally Rowdy 16 inch bike. 
and you can see he still fits on there pretty good he still doesn't have a problem riding the bike uh, he loved this bike he got it right before he was five years old and uh, he's had it now for a few years and like I said we decided to upgrade him on this bike now this one doesn't have any any uh, gears on it or anything it does have hand brakes and free will that's why one of the reasons why we decided to get him this bike um, because it has both front and back hand brakes and free will this is him riding the 16 inch rally rowdy right after he got the bike when he was five years old If you want to see my journey on how I learned to ride on two wheels, we'll put a link below. It, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool video, so if you guys are interested, check that video out. He was only three and woke up with a dream. So this has been, how have you liked this bike, bud? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What did you like about it the most? That it didn't have coaster brakes, because when I ride Colton's bike, I try and do a wheelie on it, and he has coaster brakes. Oh, and it's hard to do wheelies with coaster brakes. Yeah. All right, good to know, guys. So that's why he prefers the free wheel. Um, so yeah, there's the uh, Rally Rowdy. He's had it for like two years now, and now I'm going to show you guys on the bike that he upgraded to, which is the Trex 2020. Guys, you want to take it for a quick spin? Show show people how you still fit on it. So you can see there, he still fits on it good. Still, he can still ride the bike no problem. He just doesn't have any gears. And being that I have the e-bike and uh, we go on 20 mile rides a lot on the bike trail, he needed something with gears. Little Willie. <laughs> Alright, now this is the new bike that we upgraded into, a Trex Pre-Caliper 2020 and it has the low, low step height here, which uh, is the newer model. The older model I believe had more of a straighter bar, so this has a little bit lower of a step, uh, step over height. And it's a little bit better for smaller ride, riders because you could put the seat down lower than on the other style. Now, what's nice about this and one of the reasons why we upgraded it is because it has a seven speed uh, Shimano uh, freewheel on the back, or uh, yeah, I believe that's a freewheel Shimano Tourney derailleur, which is actually the same one that's on my electric e bike. And then what's really nice is that it has a twist grip. Uh, shifter on it which is really really nice and easy for kids to use you just twist it either way to go through the gears and it also actually has some uh, decent front suspension here it doesn't have any lockouts or anything for the front suspension but it, it you know it has I believe it's a spring suspension it works fairly decent I mean it's better than nothing and uh, we're gonna show you guys here real quick how he fits on it and uh, again this one has both front and back uh, hand brakes it has a uh, free wheel and uh, we're gonna show you guys real quick him riding this now what do you like better about this bike mm -hmm. than your other old bike bud it had gears yeah a little easier to keep up on the bike trail yeah yeah so he is able to keep up no problem on our 20 mile trips to go on the bike trail we did a 20 mile ride last weekend and he kept up no problem and uh, definitely a lot easier to keep up on long distances than the one that has no gears so go ahead show us how it rides bud See him there shifting down through a little bit and there he is on the trex caliper trex pre-caliper 2020. now he got this bike right before he turned seven and uh he'll probably have this one for a few years as well i'm sure it'll take him a few years to outgrow this one that's the only video I'm gonna be able to make about the rally rowdy 16 inch bike because we actually ended up just selling it a guy came and bought it we got 
of what the current retail value of the bike is. But if you guys have any question on either bike, put it in the comments below. Or if you have any comments, please put them down below. I'll try to answer any questions that you guys may have. And don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button and that bell next to it so you get notified of my next video if you guys enjoyed this one. See you guys around on the next one. Thanks for watching.